Pisces, what you doing, boo? I hope that this message finds you well. And if you are not feeling well, you will be by the end of this reading. Just stick around, all right? Because that's my intention, you understand? So come on in, Pisces. Let's see what's going on with you for the rest of this week, okay? We don't have many days left. VIPs, don't forget our live will be Friday, okay? 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Get your ass down now, okay? Come on now, Six of Cups. Come on now, okay? So we got the Six of Cups coming out for your energy for the rest of this week, Pisces. All right, so let's see what all this happiness and, and joyfulness is about, okay? All right, you could be reminiscing, all right? Um, children could be significant this week, okay? You could also be, all right, some about photo albums or like, what do you call those things? Scrapbooks or something or some kind of like art project or like some kind of uh, creative, okay, project this week for the rest of this week, okay? What's Pisces energy for the rest of this week, spirit? Don't forget to exchange some energies with your girl, okay? <laughs> Hit that like button, comment, share the planet, subscribe if you're a new citizen, you know what I'm saying? All of that stuff right there exchanges energy with me, right? That helps me tap further into your energy. So, yeah, make my job a little easier, nah. <laughs> I appreciate you so much, okay? What's Pisces energy for the rest of this week, spirit, with the Six of Cups? What is Pisces six of cup in here, okay? All right, you got the six of swords. All right, so 66 could be significant. The six of swords is all about going from choppy water to more calm water. And y'all, from the looks of our readings lately, it's been pretty choppy in some areas. You know what I'm saying? So that looks really good, Pisces. It says moving forward, embarking on a healing journey, okay? Dang. Okay, I got art stuff all up under my damn nails. All right, so I'm guilty. <laughs> I'm already tapping into the artistic side, okay? Come on, spirit. What's this Six of Cups about for Pisces and their energy for the rest of this week, please? Oh, my goodness. It could, first of all, have something to do with your home. This is the Four of Wands, okay? But Pisces, the Four of Wands is also like a celebration card. It's like an achievement card, right? Two, two, two on the clock. Okay, this could be achievements in marriage, graduation, like big life uh, happenings is what I'm hearing, okay? All right, but it's some sort of like celebration, like something, and I'm telling you, you got six and four, that's 10, baby. Okay, that's a completion of something. This is awesome. So we got celebration, happy memories, okay? Harmony, right? That's the number six, right? And number four is stability, okay? <laughs> Stable harmony. <laughs> harmonious stability okay <laughs> so what's going okay queen of pentacles okay you could be in your real nice loving mothering okay or a feminine fathering energy <laughs> if you're a guy <laughs> oh my god and the knight of cups okay so for the rest of this week you are full of love you're giving love you're being nurturing i even heard to yourself pisces especially with this um with the six of swords that came out earlier okay all right it's something about relax but that's not the word that i heard but okay <laughs> all right the rest of this week what's pisces energy spirit okay all right it's something about because look hold on let me show y'all y'all know i gotta show y'all it's something about paying attention to signs, okay? This just caught my attention. Signposts along the path, okay? Something's gonna, something's, it's gonna stand out though, all right, with this radiant right here, okay? All right? This is definitely coming from the higher realms, all right? What did I just say about stability? What'd that say? four of pentacles building stability conserving resources all right okay all right especially with that queen of pentacles and the four of pentacles coming out all right you could be like going through checkbooks um i heard consolidating debt okay <laughs> all right let me tell y'all so okay especially if you into the law of attraction and manifesting and you trying to manifest more money let me tell you consolidating and just getting some auto pay if you can afford that is one of the best things i did because it took my attention away from oh my god this bill is due this bill is yeah it's just an automatic thing but I, if i'm not mistaken i think bob proctor was the one who said that yup he did on the movie the secret go check that shit out if you haven't already okay if you're ready to manifest a new life you understand me okay <laughs> real talk though 
that helped me so much and once i did that and i got my finances like you know what's going out here and i organized that shit and then i started doing my affirmations you know what i'm saying money comes to me easily and effortlessly and i spend it wisely or i use it wisely i got receipts y'all the money started coming in okay i'm just telling you now i'm just giving you a little heads up now a little advice okay <laughs> spirit pisces energy for the rest of this week we're nurturing we're loving we're getting our money in order right shit is stable we're feeling stable right even if you may not have everything you need right now put yourself in that queen of pentacles four pentacles energy and watch the universe follow your lead okay what we sad about though what happened oh no okay so this week just be just be aware a boss this could be a boss because you got the king of pentacles and the king of wands here okay with the five of cups the ten of cups and the five of swords a boss or an authority figure all right this could even be a dad a father a husband whatever all right but it definitely looks like either a masculine energy or a woman that is like a boss she a boss or she a leader or something she yeah okay so you may 55 may be significant 10 10 may be significant okay look at the it's something about signposts uh sequences that's what's the word uh i can't think of it but look at this look how it looks patterns that's it 5k 10k 5 all right something about a 5k possibly <laughs> 5k okay yeah but you may have to check a boss don't check them too hard now okay all right well let's see what this five of cups is about okay yeah look you got the two of pentacles in reverse over here the nine of cups in reverse and the queen of wands in reverse okay you may feel like somebody is not <clears throat> is not accepting your your like uh advice not advice but suggestions okay so let's say for instance this ain't gonna be for everybody so just put the energy where it goes but let's say for instance you at work and you see some bullshit and you like i know how to fix this and you go tell the manager hey you know what it'd be good if we add this in the break room to keep have you know from having dishes in the sink at the end of the night or whatever right and the boss is like okay whatever becky you know what i'm saying and just it's something like that like you may feel ignored okay if it's not a boss it could be a husband a boyfriend or a father figure okay this person could be very attractive but it's something about them being right though and they're gonna be right at any cost period like it's yeah okay all right okay <laughs> Let me put these back in here, right? Hold on, Pisces. Hold on. Mm -hmm. All right. Spirit, what's with the three of... Look, the five of cups, the three of swords. Sadness. What's the sadness about, Spirit? All right, you got the ten of pentacles with the knight of cups. And the ten of swords. How we come out with such beautiful energy and then we end up here? <laughs> it's all right. We're going to figure it out, okay? All right, the number eight could be significant, okay? You could be looking through old photos, okay? Old memories, okay? It's something about just being in control of your emotions. If you're doing any kind of like um, reminiscing, looking at memorabilia, uh, old pictures, things like that. It's something about just not getting consumed by your emotions, okay? <clears throat> okay, you could have lost someone, and I don't know, maybe you'll find like a picture of them or a piece of clothing of theirs or jewelry or property that they, I don't know. <clears throat> but I feel like something is going to spark a feeling of grief and sadness and missing of someone. Okay, this person doesn't have to be passed on. They could just, you could just be not something. I don't know. What's going on here with the five of cups and the three of swords, spirit? I feel like getting the real tarot deck for this. Let's see, though. 
these just the ones I made at home. <laughs> right? For all my folks out there that want to learn tarot, get you some regular playing cards and write on them hoes. Just saying. A dollar at the Dollar Tree. Well, a dollar twenty-five now. <laughs> Real talk though. And you can look on biddytarot.com, B-I-D-D-Y, tarot.com. She got a YouTube channel too, but I think her website is more lit, more lit than her channel is. <laughs> anyway, that's for all my readers out there, high priestesses, okay? What's going on with the Five of Cups and the Three of Swords for Pisces for the rest of this week, Spirit? <clears throat> what is this caused from? One more time, and then we're going to get the uh, tarot. The regular tarot. There we go. Spirit talks, y'all. <sighs> okay, some of y'all might have lost some sleep or something. It's, it's, first of all, okay, wait. <laughs> okay, it's something about watching what you eat or watch what you watch before you go to sleep. Okay, all right? Y'all know we get downloads and shit in our sleep. You want the, the time before you go to sleep to be a peaceful time. <laughs> okay? It's something here about it. Okay? Give me a moment. You got the five of wands and the four of swords. What's this about though, spirit? <clears throat> Seven of swords. Let's get some clarifiers. Let's just get to it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what Pisces said? What's all this conflict and grief and shit about spirit? Damn. <sighs> Let's get into it, Pisces. So I feel like for the rest of this week, you are going to be in a good energy. Somebody may come around you and project, though. Listen. <laughs> be aware right okay because if you already know you 12 12 on the clock come on favor come on blessed come on chosen okay all right but just be aware okay all right a uh, air sign could be significant gemini libra aquarius spirit why is what's up with the five of cups what is causing this sadness this argument okay what is causing Pisces to be in this energy this week, Spirit? The same damn card came. <laughs> who is this, Pisces? <laughs> you know who it is. Somebody is too full of themselves. It may be that damn boss, okay? Or whatever masculine energy that was. Don't worry, though. Cause who you got? It's something here. You this could be. Listen, I'm. It's two different messages, y'all. We put the energy where it go now. But it's something here about possibly someone looking at some old pictures or old memories or something, something, and feeling you know sad about losing someone. Guess what? You ain't lost them. Maybe in this physical realm, but no. Hello, hi. They here. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. A lost loved one watches over you. I just felt very heavy energy just then. It's something about them talking to you, Pisces, and sending you some kind of message, warning, or something. What y'all trying to tell Pisces? With this seven of swords and all these... Oh, three, four, five, five could be significant, okay? Yo, look at this shit. Look at this. What the? First of all, I don't know what's going on. But with these numbers coming out like this, you got to be taking the right steps somewhere. Shit. You got three. Y'all heard the little bell in the back? I hope you did. Third confirmation. Hold on now. Nah. I'm getting my hand together so I can whoop that ass in this game of cards. <laughs> Look, oh my God. <laughs> Y'all, I kid you not. You got three, four, four, five, five, six, seven, eight. What the fuck? You taking the right steps to do something, man, with the number eight. That's like you damn near almost through. 
what is this though spirit the eight of swords do not get stuck in your head do not overthink something do not feel like you are trapped okay we're gonna talk about it we'll see what's up hold on let's talk about this seven of swords with this person that is full of themselves and doesn't like to take constructive criticism okay what is the seven of swords for pisces please for the rest of this week and this narcissist <laughs> oh shit somebody might bring up something from the past all right somebody might see something on a computer or something or a phone somebody first of all I feel like somebody misunderstood something here. It literally says communication issues. You may feel stuck in this job, this place, relationship, whatever this is right here. You may feel like, damn, it's no way out of this. Okay? Or whatever it is. Okay? It could be it could even be there's no way out of this damn conversation. I don't know. Look, moving though. What is the seven of swords? Hmm. Lord, y'all trying to get the fuck away from something. Y'all are trying to get the hell away from something. What is this, Pisces? Look, you got open your heart, manifest, and moving. Right? It says... It will help you attract more love, right? Tell the universe exactly what you want in moving with the seven of swords. The seven of swords can doesn't have to always be sneaky as it could be um, strategizing, right? Okay. And not telling folks like maybe doing shit, you know what I'm saying? And keeping it to your damn self. Yeah, you see, it's kind of it's sneaky, but it's not deceptive necessarily. You understand what I'm saying? I hope that makes sense. But let's see what else this is, Pisces. Tell me about this Seven of Swords spirit and this narc. What's going on with them, please? Oh, shit. All right. A Scorpio could be significant. What's going on with the seven of swords this could be someone in your family all right or money could be uh, a topic here could be involved spirit what's the seven of swords with the narc please what's going on with them that Pisces about to find out you got the six of Pentacles what's going on with them what's the seven of swords for the narc please we be throwing that word around so much nowadays. 18, 18 on the clock. I didn't realize that was an actual medical diagnosis until like three years ago. <laughs> Cause we be using it like it's just a regular ass word. Like mean or nice. They're a narc. <laughs> I'm so cool. Anyway, come on spirit with the seven of swords, but it's something that you're going to have to review or something that you're going to need to take your time with to look over, okay? Two of Swords with the Six of Pentacles. Give me just a minute. And the Hierophant on the bottom of the deck of Taurus could be significant. Is somebody giving to two? Hold on. What's the Two of Swords? <gasps> oh my God! I'm sorry. I'm extra, y'all. I'm extra sometimes. But damn. What's the two of swords? This could be somebody from the past, from their past, like, or from your past. Put the energy where it goes, okay? A water sign could be significant. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, damn. 
give it time okay it's something about like i said so you, your folks gonna give you signs or so somebody is shit god <laughs> you pass over love once your ancestors or somebody because you see how she's not able to see shit what's up that oh the moon my ninja follow the signs you understand what i'm saying Look, they'll be back to communicate. What's the two of swords, please, spirit? A air sign could be significant. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What's the two of swords, spirit? Two of Swords, please. They'll be back. It's back out. And communicate back on the bottom of the deck. Commitment right here. CC could be significant. CC. All right. What is Pisces going to be finding out here? What's this communication about? This could have happened already. This could have happened already, especially with they'll be back coming out twice and the Six of Cups being out here and Mercury Retrograde. Those are all past things, okay? So this could have happened in the past. Maybe this message is to just let you know that they will be reaching out soon. They'll be back to communicate. It says compromise, forgive, work it out. Guess what's up under them? They still trying to figure themselves out, but guess what the fuck is up under there, Pisces? I don't know why, but 2152 is on the clock, and I don't know why that number might be significant for somebody. I don't know. Caution. Find out more information, but don't overwork yourself. That goes back to that, like, Eight of Swords, kind of a little bit as well. Like, don't overthink. Don't over, like, you know what I'm saying? Searching on folks' Facebook and messages. Like, it's going to come to you. I'm telling you. Trust and believe, okay? You got the Ace of Wands on the bottom of the deck. What is this about, Spirit? So just know, Pisces, that just stay in that first energy we was talking about, okay? It's something about not getting caught up in your emotions, like, and not getting caught up in your head. I'm telling you, look, stay in your Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles energy. You understand what I'm saying? The Queen of Pentacles that came out earlier, nurturing, more nurturing energy, intuitive. Okay, look, the Knight of Swords, Truth Seeker, fuck. Then after the Knight of Swords is the Four of Cups. This might have you in your head for a second. You might have to sit down and process this shit or something. Okay, whatever this is for you. You gotta recognize something though. Okay. All right. You, you, you. The star here now. I don't know. The star is like, damn, like, damn, there's a second chance. You may tell somebody to give you a minute to sleep on something. And I feel like in your sleep, your angel is going to come to you. It's something here about your sleep. And having either some kind of dream, revelation, or something. Okay? Baby, write your dreams down. Okay? Especially if you have, like, vivid dreams. You know what I'm saying? Write them hoes down. Start your dream journal. But I feel like a guardian angel, just like it said out there, it's going to give you some sort of message through your dreams, okay? You see the swords? All right? Now, you, you, might, you it's something about processing something. I don't know if it's this dream, the information this person give you, or what. I recommend writing your dream down, okay? Because the four swords plus this sword right here is five swords. Once again, that's like just all up in your head. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not a good energy, okay? Hmm. What's the star? You got the uh, fool up under that, though. What's the star? Hmm. 
Somebody may try to like get rid of something. But the crazy thing is, look at all the stars in the sky. No matter whatever they pouring out, getting rid of, flushing down the toilet, whatever it is that they doing, you got too many folks that's going to tell you or something like that, okay? Or like, okay, a flashlight? What the fuck? I don't know. Okay, something like that. All right. Flamingos could be significant, okay? Ibis, I heard too. Ibis bird, okay. All right, spirit. What can Pisces expect from this person that's bringing all this damn cunt? Now, see, in this deck, I'm just saying, Four of Pentacles. So, this person is not going to be very open with you. Okay, it's they still holding on to something and protecting something with their life. <sighs> who is this spirit? Who is this person that's too full of themselves? Give me like what that is this? Who is this? Hmm. Whoever it is, it's too much. It's too much. It's too much. Look, now all the ugly cars now. What is this? Who is it? What is it? Oh. Who is the Empress? Oh, no. I guess who right here with her, though? Look. What the fuck is going on with y'all? Oh, it's a lot of history here, baby. It's a lot of history here. Now, once again, still put the energy where it go. This could still be a boss because the emperor could be a boss. You understand what I'm saying? But you just put the energy where it goes. This could be Jesus Christmas. Okay. It's somebody that you care about, though. Somebody that you, you know what I'm saying? That you open with, that you care about, that you have feelings for, possibly. Okay. Yes, definitely. All right. Oh, you're not taking the bullshit. You're cutting straight through it. Come in. Come in. Come in. <laughs> oh, Lord. Look. Look. This is giving me a whole new perspective. Bless them, Lord. For some of y'all, though, because that was mama and daddy, too. Right? Okay. So many situations. Jesus Christmas. You got the king and queen of swords out here. That's a match. But guess who you got in the middle? A child, right? That may not be seeing something clearly. Y'all might have to get on a child or something, okay? That's one one timeline, okay? <laughs> but where is the love, the love, the love? If this you and your boo, y'all kind of y'all kind of cold do y'all wear metal suits to bed and shit <sighs> they kind of cold you know what i'm saying okay what can pisces expect spirit from this person here in this picture with them it's something about looking at pictures it's something about looking at pictures of something here or taking pictures or something. Some sort of quick action. Something's burdensome here. What's the burden? It's like, I don't know, you've had to exercise a lot of patience in this situation. Okay, hold on. A Leo could definitely be significant. Aries, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. What's the, what's the uh, Queen of Wands, please? What's the Queen of Wands?
Damn, you got the justice in the chariot for the queen of wands. And what's the king of swords? For the burden. What the fuck? First of all, let me just tell you. I heard two-faced earlier, but I don't know why. I don't, okay. Okay. I do see why. Look. Who is this? Who is that though? This, first of all, first of all, in a love reading and you got a pal and the queen of wands come out, this is a third party. I don't like that. I don't like, ooh, okay. Tell me about the queen of wands again, please, spirit. I need some more clarification. Girl. Who is that? Okay, a Libra or a Cancer could be very significant, okay? This could, a counselor could be significant or like a, the third party because I'm not getting like a sexual third party for everybody. Uh, it could be some sort of counsel here or outside person stepping in. Let's see though. What this third party looking like though? What they doing? What they doing? Where this card come from? The two of swords. How did I even pick that up? Somebody is stuck between the two. I can't. I can't. I can't. Ain't got the love on the bottom of the deck. Ain't nobody got time. What's wrong with them, Lord? Look. <laughs> Convoluted is what I heard, okay? You gonna be shown something, though. I'm gonna need you to just pay attention. Pay attention. These Skeetles out here biting my ass up. Yes, I said Skeetles. <laughs> But real talk though, Pisces. I don't know what part you fall in here. If you're the one married to this cold dude or a cold woman, or if you the third party. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh Lord. It's something about, I don't like this. It's something about protecting your coins too. That actually came out of one of our readings recently. Okay. Okay, for those of y'all that are married and resonated with that part, it's something here about a counselor, especially if this person, like, if you are considering letting them come back in, it's something that a third party is going to have to help you guys with, like a counselor, a fucking doctor. I don't know. But, yeah. All right, nine of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. This is a, this, this like my single card, y'all. And they'll be back. It's back on the bottom of the deck. Advice for Pisces, please. It said caution up there. What's the caution about first spirit? You gotta let something go. Damn, they tore me up. A Scorpio could be significant. Remember earlier, I was talking about the Seven of Swords could be like you planning on leaving a job or leaving somewhere, or breaking away from something. You ain't telling people or whatever. The Two of Wands, for caution, find out more information. The Two of Wands is about planning and finding out information to move forward. But you're moving forward. You understand what I'm saying? Advice for Pisces, please. I love you, Pisces. Eight of Pentacles. What are they working on, Spirit? It's you. You gonna have to find something. Something you got. Listen. Yes. You got the 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 death right here. The moon and the four of swords. It is something big here about your dreams. Okay. 
tell me more spirit advice for Pisces what they looking up what they working on finding out or it's like you okay the eight of pentacles is like working on something being proud of your work mastering something right the eight of pentacles is a master at Owls could be significant into mother freaking wishing. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, the page of swords is um learning, right? He got a robust voice too. <laughs> and shit, you know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. I feel like that's significant. <laughs> what is this eight of five of swords? of swords right even though sometimes i could read this as like just really you know what i'm saying like i know earlier i said like uh being in your head and things like that that's because of that light seals tarot deck but anyway this is winning at all costs this is like no matter what all this bullshit is you still gonna come out victorious if the world <laughs> okay the four of pentacles all right. Didn't I just tell y'all? It's something about not being it's six of cups on the bottom of the deck. It's something about not being so freely giving to somebody. Like, and I'm thinking this could either either be with your body, right? Because it's the physicality, the pinnacles, or with your money. You understand? What I'm it's something physical that you need to get a hold on, or like not be so open with. Okay, and this could even be with a child. Okay. Cool. You and the emperor energy. This show, this this advice for you. What what they master? What they taking a the lead in? What's this? Forty four 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 four. Four four four. listen to me focus on your ball shit you understand what i'm saying stability your money your foundation you understand what i'm saying making sure that you keeping your coins protected and you mastering something here whatever you're learning about you could be in school you could be a student okay you could be whatever whatever all right whatever this is that you're learning about okay even if it's learning about your own damn intuition whatever this is stay focused on that don't let this person bring you out of this high vibrational energy that came out first okay all right that loving mothering nurturing energy all right pisces i hope that this reading met you where it needed to all right and made you feel good on the insides okay <laughs> don't forget to turn your post notifications on so you'll know when your girl is live or when we have a live premiere so you can come holla at me in the chat all right i love you so much pisces i'll see y'all down below bye babe